Hello everyone, this is Bito Vince Francis Aquino, here to tell you all about the great mathematician Euclid, also known as the father of geometry. I will be doing this by using the 3 to 1 math facts procedure, or in other terms, wherein I will give you three personal details, two of his marvelous contributions in mathematics, and one fun trivia about Euclid himself. Three personal details of the mathematician Euclid. Euclid's origin. The Greek mathematician Euclid was born in Greece in 325 BC from a wealthy family. He was raised in Greece as a grown man and resided in Alexandria, Egypt. He later graduated from Plato's school in ancient Greece. Almost nothing is known of his life and no likeliness or first-hand description of his physical appearance has survived antiquity, and so depictions of him with the long flowering beard and the cloth cap in works of art are necessarily the products of the artist's imagination. He probably studied for a time at Plato's Academy in Athens, where many mathematicians like him thought and learned along with him. But by Euclid's time, Alexandria, under the patronage of the Ptolemies, and with its prestigious and comprehensive library, had already become a worthy rival to the great academy of Plato. Euclid is often referred to as the father of geometry because he wrote perhaps the most important and successful mathematical textbook of all the time, The Elements, which represents the culmination of the mathematical revolution which had taken place in Greece up to that time. Two of his contributions in mathematics the Elements was a lucid and comprehensive compilation and explanation of all the known mathematics of his time. Euclid reworked the mathematical concepts of his predecessors into a consistent whole later to become known as Euclidean geometry, which is still being taught to this time. Axioms and Postulates The axioms or postulates are the assumptions that are obvious universal truths. They are not proved. Euclid has introduced the geometry fundamentals like geometric shapes and figures in his book Elements and has stated five main axioms or postulates. This is an example of an axiom. This is an example of a postulate. One fun trivia about Euclid. A long line of teachings. Euclid was taught in his youth by the famous Greek philosopher Plato. Plato himself was taught by Socrates in Greece. To anyone familiar or interested with mathematics and science, these names are very big and deep in importance. To end this presentation, I would like it for everyone to appreciate the sacrifices and accomplishments of these fellow mathematicians, as their contributions have helped shape our modern society and our teachings. That concludes my presentation, and I would like to personally thank you everyone for listening and learning with me.